Growing up, that week between Christmas and New Year's always felt like the most magical week of the year. We had nothing to do, we had nowhere to go, we were just spending time with loved ones and relaxing and reminiscing about what a great year we just had. As I've gotten older, I felt this pressure to spend that week thinking about everything that I didn't accomplish that I wanted to accomplish that year and thinking about how I could plan out the perfect New Year's resolutions that would help me achieve everything I want to achieve the next year. But this year, the week after Christmas, I got sick. I was so upset that I got sick. And not just that I got sick, but because I felt like if I was behind that week, I was gonna be behind on starting my New Year's resolutions, and then I was gonna be behind for the rest of the year. I felt like I needed to have my house completely clean and my schedule totally mapped out and my vision board like done and hanging on the wall, or I was gonna be behind before the year even started. But while I was laying in bed and scrolling on social media, I discovered something that changed the way I was thinking about this. It turns out I'm not the only one who feels this way and that there's this entire dialogue based around the fact that in the winter, nothing really blooms. In the winter, nature rests and hibernates. And here we are just like trying to hit the ground running on January 1st. While the world around us is reminding us to just rest and reflect and plan for the year ahead. So I took that week that I was sick in bed. And then I took a lot of January and I didn't force myself to start my resolutions yet. I didn't force myself to try to change everything overnight. I took time to journal and plan and reflect and think about what I want my year to look like and what I want my life to look like. So now on the last week of January, I feel like I'm finally ready to do my vision board. Also, I made a heart. Do you like it? My bestie and I started making these a while ago, but then we never did the vision part of the vision board. So this week we're gonna go meet up with Megan and we're gonna make our vision boards. months ago, Megan and I started trying to make manifestation boards together and we made the boards and they're really pretty, but we never actually did the photo part. Time just got away. I, I yeah, don't know. Yeah, it's, yeah. Fine. it's fine. <laughs> Today is the perfect time though to actually start doing the manifesting of our manifestation boards. Excited. Me Let's too. manifest, baby. <laughs> so I have this board on Pinterest called dream scrolling. The idea is that it's like the opposite of doom scrolling. <laughs> Oh, so you're just looking at things that make you happy. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah, this creator that I love, I will put their name on the screen, came up with it. And I'm like, this is amazing. I need to make one of these. Oh, yeah. I, I could see you wearing that. Yeah, I want to make one of those. And then having like the big like greenhouse of my dreams, that might honestly go on my board tonight. I also just random pictures <laughs> that make me happy. <laughs> random deer with their tongue sticking out. I should take more pictures of the deer around here. They <sighs> look like that. So I'm definitely adding a YouTube gold play button. Oh, I'm yeah. Manifesting that we're yes. going to have a million subs this year. I think for mine, I'm going to have a picture of the Grand Ole Opry stage. Absolutely. Yeah. Manifest. Manifest. Yes. Just going to like put a picture of you right there. <laughs> See it right now. <laughs> So I'm home with my 2024 vision board and I love it. I'm really glad that I took the time to think about not just what I want my life to look like this year, but what I want my whole life to look like. I mean like my life as far as I can visualize. And I'm really glad that for the first time in a long time, I took a truly slow start to the year. Now there have been some things that I have started from my goals or resolutions list in the second half of January. Like I started going to bed a little bit earlier, not nearly as early as I would like, but a little bit earlier. And I've started my live stream schedule with you guys in the last week or two, and it's been so much fun streaming with y'all. If you've been to one of the live streams before, put a sunflower in the comments.
But there's still a lot of resolutions or habits that I wanna work into my life this year that I haven't even started yet. Like I wanna walk outside every single day, which seems like it be, should be such a simple one, but I think I've maybe only walked outside like twice so far this year. And reading, I wanna be reading so many new books this year. I, I have a tendency to reread books, which is also wonderful, but I think this year I've maybe read like one chapter of a new book. And there's obviously a bunch of other resolutions and goals that I have for the year, but even though I haven't really started them yet this year, I am so happy that I'm ending January and going into February feeling happy and not feeling like I'm behind at all. I usually get so sad this time of year and it's weird because I love winter. I am a winter girly. I love the cold, but I get sad usually right at the end of January. And now that I'm thinking about it, I, I think it's because I always feel like I'm already behind at this time of the year. But I don't feel that way this year because this year we're starting our New Year's resolutions in February or in March or in April or whatever season of life that you feel ready to start these new goals and resolutions. If you wanna share, let us know in the comments what's a goal of yours or a resolution of yours for 2024. And I wanna end the video by telling y'all my biggest goal slash resolution of this year. My biggest goal for this year is, is this. I want to be making videos like this with y'all every single week. So if you're new here, welcome to the Sunflower family. I'm Haliana. If you've been here for a while, welcome back and I'll see y'all in the next one.